Last Friday, a group called the Coalition for Fair Trade and Ceramic Tile, that's nine of the largest tile manufacturers in the U.S., filed an anti-dumping and countervailing duty trade remedy petitions for the Department of Commerce and the U.S. International Trade Commission. Anti-dumping tariff is estimated between 400 and 828 percent. Let's talk about that for a second. Those are very, very large tariffs. When we started this work, this is based on everything that goes into making a tile in India. So we look at the cost of gas in India from confidential sources. We look at the cost of electricity in India. We look at the cost of clay, which is actually relatively expensive in India. We look at the cost of labor, which is dirt cheap. But a lot of Indian tile factories have between 1,500 and 2,000 people in the factory when a U.S. or European factory might have 250. The labor is a lot less expensive, but they use a lot more of it. The freight rates are no less expensive in India than they are in the rest of the world. Glaze is imported from overseas. It's no less expensive than it is in the rest of the world. By our most conservative analysis, we came up with 408%. And depending on exactly what the numbers are, it could be as high as 828%. If the US Department of Commerce agrees and when they go to India and investigate, we could be looking at significant tariffs. Additionally, in the U.S. system, we get to apply a tariff for subsidies. So when the government of India, whether regional, local, national, subsidizes production, that could be reduced charges for electricity, reduced charges for gas, free land, reduced taxes, any of those subsidies, we get to level the playing field. That's international law. Those subsidies are on top of whatever the anti-dumping subsidies are. So in terms of timing, the anti-subsidy tariff is roughly four to five months. That's a matter of law as determined by the Tariff Act of 1974. The preliminary anti-dumping tariff is expected in seven months. And final tariffs are expected in 16 months from the date of filing, i.e. last Friday. The final tariffs are automatically retroactive to the date of preliminary tariffs, which means that an importer doesn't know what the final tariff is going to be until 16 months later, but it is applied retroactively to everything that they brought in. We're going to talk a little further about that. But based on the growth of imports, the coalition, so we want everyone to know, the coalition will file for the tariffs to be retroactive to the date of filing the petition, which means that tomorrow, if you import a tile from India, you have this serious risk, even before preliminary tariffs are determined, that the final tariff, 16 months from now, will be applied retroactively. And we don't want distributors and importers to be caught by surprise the way they were with the China tariffs. Because with the China tariffs, the preliminary tariff was 100%. <coughs> And people thought, okay, I can raise my prices. But then the final tariffs were 600% and applied retroactively. And that put some people out of business. Because when the government comes and says, you now owe six times the price of what you imported that tile for, in, in many cases that was tens of millions of dollars. So we've communicated.